good morning guys and it's like just around 9 30 i don't know but good morning i am on my way to my first day of work at the halloween store i'm nervous i'm excited i hope i can do this um as you can see i'm not really dressed for work um like i said saturday what the whole uniform looks like when i get there it's just a t-shirt and like lime green or hot pink and then pretty much whatever you want to wear is the rest of your uniform just as long as there's no flip flops. So I have on a blue jean skirt, leggings, and tennis shoes. It feels really weird to be wearing a blue jean skirt, tennis shoes, and leggings. A skirt and leggings is what I wore at the hotel, but I still had to wear like black shoes and black socks and stuff like that. And here it's like, talking to myself the other day, I'm like, I could like wear my dog Vader shoes and I don't think they would even care. <laughs> that actually might be kind of fun, but I don't think those are up for like six hours of work. But I worked today 10 to four. Hysterically, I checked, thinking I had, I checked my mom's work schedule that she posted on our front door and she had to go in at eight today. And she gets out at 4, too. So I texted her and went, hey, guess what? I get out at 4 today, too. I want me just to walk over and meet you at the store. Because Walmart is just across the road from the mall, actually. So it's like I leave, I cut through the mall to Yonkers, take the back door to Yonkers, and Walmart is just across the street. <laughs> and actually, when my brother and I go to meet my mom at the store, we actually do do that. We will cut through the mall and go through Yonkers, especially if it's not busy, because... It cuts down on how much we have to walk and how long it takes us to get there. It takes us about half an hour about to get to Walmart if we don't cut through the mall and like 25 minutes if we cut through the mall. And the only reason it takes that long is because there's so much bloody traffic. So it's early. I actually went to bed at 11.30 last night. so. Got about six, eight hours of sleep. Um, woke up and had pizza for breakfast and four of my mini pumpkin spice crawlers by Crawlers by Krispy Kreme because I don't have money to get lunch and I don't really know if there's any place where I could like bring food or something and store it. Of course, I'm not actually used to having a lunch break anymore like a designated break. Because when I was at the hotel in Mackinac Island, you did not take an official break. Like they would tell you to stop what you were doing for like 15 minutes, a half an hour, and get something to eat, but you were still on the clock. Like the only time you clocked out was if you physically left the building. So that was really weird. But, um, so this will be weird if I actually come here and I actually have to clock in and out to take like, a break, which is required. It's law. But I'm nervous. I'm excited. I really hope I can do this. It's like, I'm so scared. And I'm worried I screwed up something on my paperwork. And I'm waiting to hear back from Advantage and Lawrence about the fact that I handed in my notice. If I don't hear from them by Wednesday, I'll have to find some time to call them. Hopefully today I'll also get my schedule for the rest of the week so that um, I know when I'm working. Because <laughs> as of right now, I'm only working today and tomorrow. And he actually said he's not going to work me every day. Some days I know for sure he's not going to work me, but I'll just be grateful if I get a, if I work like three days a week. If I work four days a week. You know, he has to get, I have to have at least two days off a week, but I will be grateful if I work three or four days because I just want something to do. I need to get out of the house. That's probably the reason why I love this job. I'm actually out of the house. I never know what music's going to be playing at the mall. Some days it's like the latest pop or rock hit and then like days like today it's some oldie song I've never heard of. So, I 
never know until I walk in the mall what I'm going to be listening to. And then, like, all the other stores have their own soundtrack. Oh, it's Bugali Miss Molly. <laughs> I'm such a dork. But it's, like, weird because in our mall, like, the main area will be, like, oldies, and then you'll go into, like, Journeys or Spencer, and you'll, like, have some kind of hard rocks. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> So I could go from listening to Good Going with Molly to listening to the latest Justin Bieber. This mall is very weird. <laughs> All of Michigan's weird, but that's what makes us so cool. <sighs> so I'm gonna go finish getting ready for work. What do I need to get ready for? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's me. I got off work about a few minutes ago. I'm done for the day. I go back tomorrow, 10 to 4. And I probably won't go back in again until Saturday, same time, 10 to 4. <laughs> So that will give me Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. So, and then I have Sundays off. So that will be nice. As you can see, I got my work shirt. It is bright pink and all it says is Halloween store and on the back it says staff. But it was nice since it is like not even the end of middle of September. The store is dead. Um, and apparently we're not gonna get busy till like the week before and the week of Halloween. Which I'm not even sure we're gonna get that busy because really it's just gonna be a lot of the stuff to me I've bought online for cheaper. But it's nice working there. Basically, all I did today was I didn't ring up any sales because I don't know how to use the cash register. I've run register before, I've done retail, but they have no scanner. It is all old fashioned till. So there's no scanner. You have to type everything in, and there's a separate thing for a card, and we can't do checks. and. So, and then the punch in and out, you actually have to literally use a time card. Which I've never done before. So, I like have to learn how to use the system that in my mind is very old and antique. And the lady who opens with me, she got mad because I told her I've never used a POS system like this before. And she immediately was like calling the guys like, I told you, you told me Caitlin had experience. And I had to quickly tell her, it's like, I have experience on like the computer-based systems. This is not what I've had experience with at all. This is like stuff I've never done before. But it was a good day and I feel bad because at the end of the sip, this grandma came with her little, with her grandkids. I was talking to the granddaughter and I was showing her boards. This is drugs, I have your press a button, it makes sound and all this stuff. And I scared her and I'll tell you about it later. My mom's here, bye. Okay, so I am home, finally. My feet are killing me, but well, that was a good day. But as to continue my story, I accidentally scared a little girl, like two or three years old. We were talking and stuff was near the end of my shift, and we have this giant rug that has like a monster's head, and you press a button and it makes noise, and its eyes light up. And I decided to name it Boris, because if it's going to be seen up there, I'm going to name it Boris. And one little girl says the reason we have Boris up there is he's the shoplifters. I'm like, that's a good idea. <laughs> so I call him Boris. And this little girl, her grandma informed me she's not scared of anything. In fact, she wants to be something for scary for Halloween. That's kind of tough to do with a toddler. So I'm like, okay, I will show her Boris. You know, and I give it names because I feel like kids are going to come in here. They might see some stuff. They might get scared. If I make it fun for them, they aren't going to be that scared. And I've learned that if you find a way to keep kids entertained while the parents are busy, then the parents actually enjoy their time at the store. So... I showed her Boris, she like liked it, and I'm like, you want to see Mr. Jumpy? Mr. Jumpy is the name I've given to this spider that its eyes light up, it makes noise, and it jumps out at you. I thought she would not be scared because she was okay with Boris. And frankly, I thought Boris would scare a little kid more than the jumping spider. She was terrified of Mr. Jumpy, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out. I did not mean to scare her. I'm like, you want to see the other nice spiders? Because we have those spiders where you press the button and they just hop. She was scared of those. She was scared of spiders. So I am sitting there at the end of my shift feeling absolutely guilty because I terrified this kid without meaning to. Her grandma thought it was hysterical because her grandma said nothing is scared her, and I discovered that she's scared of spiders. So it was absolutely, I'm so tired. I'm like freaking exhausted like seriously i am so tired so i'm going to lay down and put my feet up oh they hurt so much but <laughs> we have pretty much all our inventory is out on the floor with we have tons of costumes we have an actually a pretty decent plus size range 
My thing is, is if I'm going to pay like $30, $40 for a costume, I want it to be something, the main part that I can wear after Halloween, like as an outfit or something. I'm laying on Mr. Bumpy Thumpy. There we go. So my thing is, is I'm going to get this costume. I'm going to want it to um something I can wear later. So like I found a hippie costume with a dress and I'm like, I can do that because I could wear the hippie costume later, right? And, but it's going to be like, 50 bucks because it's plus size. I'm like, I don't want to pay that much for a Halloween costume. And my original plan was I was just going to put on, if I did Halloween this year, I was just going to throw on my um, shirt with the Jedi Order logo and the blueprint with my black skirt, some tights and shoes, and I was just going to throw on like a brown or black cloak and grab one of my lightsabers, probably Obi-Wan's because that's easier for me to hold. Anakin's is way too big. Um, and I was just going to grab one of my lightsabers and just go as like a new... Jedi, a millennial Jedi, and, but I can't find a brown cloak, there are black cloaks, but I don't really want to wear black, because most of my outfit, well, I'll probably end up wearing black if I do that, but those are expensive too, and so I'm thinking, oh, well, in that case, why don't I just do one of those bugs where you just get, like, the kit with, like, the antenna and, like, the wings and stuff, and just do that, because that will be cheaper, and I can, like, wear them for, like, a festival or something, and it would be cool, and you get, like, press on nails and stuff like that and we have a ladybug costume that would be the one I'd want to do is I'd want to do ladybug because obviously my family we don't do bees because my mom's allergic to them so ladybug would be the one I would want to do problem is, is I don't know how much ladybug how we have here in a Halloween store is but I have a feeling it's going to be expensive but they do have one thing I really really want they have a clone trooper helmet and it's not just any clone trooper helmet it is Rex's helmet I want it so very much, but it's going to be like the hippie costume. It's going to be like $50. So it's like, and they also have like Stormtrooper and Darth Vader and Kylo Ren's, but I want Rex, okay? I want a helmet, and I would love to get a Stormtrooper helmet, but I really would love to get a Clone Trooper helmet. Um, so actually I would love Sabine's helmet. I would love a Mandalorian helmet, an owl helmet, but I'm never going to get one of those, so... That's going to be freaking expensive, even though we get a discount. I'm not sure how much of a discount is. I don't even know how much I get paid because my boss wasn't there today. The owner wasn't there today, so I couldn't give him the paperwork I need for him to fill out. So if he's not there again tomorrow, I'm going to have to text him and ask him what he wants me to do with this paperwork. I have 72 hours. That's three days from today. So I have like tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday to get that paperwork filled out by him. So I really have... No clue what I'm going to do. <laughs> he's not there. He says he's going to be there tomorrow. I don't even know what I'm working for the rest of the week. But in the text he sent me, he says I might be working Saturday 10 to 4, which is fine. I can do that. You know, it's totally fine. Oh, it's almost the end of September. So, um, but pretty much the store will be dead until Halloween. And then after Halloween, we will be gone. The store is actually closing the first week of November. So that means I have the rest of this week, next week, the four weeks in October, and then one week in November. So seven weeks, and we'll be done. And this is the shirt I got today for work, and it says staff on the back, and I love it because it's a 2X, first off, and it fits. It's actually really big on me. Um, and then secondly, it's one of my favorite colors. I love hot pink. And once I am done with this job, I can wear it out and about, and I will probably do whatever I want to this shirt. Probably get some fabric paint and totally go crazy with it. Um, and just have it be a kick around shirt or maybe even just turn it into a night shirt. So this is my um, work shirt that will they will take about $8 out of my first paycheck. So, um, but other than that, it was a good first day. I spent most of the day just wandering around the store, which is in the front section of the old Sears store because they had six sections. So this is in the front section by the mall entrance. And... You walk in, and to your right side is, like, decorations. And so you have, like, the pumpkin carving, window decals, which I found some really cute frozen fall decals, which I love. Um, and then to your left, you start out with the young girl costumes, and on the other side of them is toddlers and babies, and we have hats, we have wigs. And then you go around into the men's costumes, some of which are really, really raunchy. Like, I was just walking around because my job today was basically I just walk around the store. Because we have the mall entrance, and then we have second entrance that people can use. And 
they just, so I'm just supposed to walk around the store and make sure people are doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I'm also supposed to be checking the fitting room. Um, since I don't know how to use the cash register. And apparently they're only going to train certain people on how to use this cash register. I might not be the run of them. So basically I got to spend about six hours today just walking around. It was like so, my feet are killing me. I hurt so much. They hurt so much. Um, so I basically just walked around, helped customers out. I had some really fun interactions with customers, which is really nice. Um, I talked with one young boy who was really, I was surprised at how serious he was being. Like we were talking about the mask and I was asking him, you know, I saw you were looking at the fake blood we have, you know, is something you're interested in? He's like, well, I want to go as like a serial killer. What costume would go with good with blood? I'm like, well, are you going to be the one who's doing the blood or the one who's bleeding? Are you going to be the victor, the victim or the slasher? He's like, I want to be the killer. So I showed him our, um, crazy, so we showed, looked at some costumes. We have little boys, we have the zombie clowns. He really liked those. Um... And he was very surprised. He was being very serious. He was asking me the prices of everything because he was. I think he was trying to price out an entire costume because we have those knives with the blood that you flip upside down and stuff. So he was, I think, trying to find some a costume that would go with that. And those are like ten bucks. And so our zombie clown costumes for boys they are between thirty and forty dollars. <laughs> and then he was looking at like we have special effects makeup, and he found a pentagram one that you could put on your skin. He's like. Would this be a good one to go with the soda? I'm like, yeah, because you see in a lot of horror movies, sometimes the killer will have a pentagram because for a lot of people, the pentagram is a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. I watch Shadowhunters, so I don't view it as a bad thing. It's just, to me, it's the pentagram is just a symbol. I know to some people it means a lot more. To me, it's just a symbol. So I said, but in some people, a pentagram is bad, so that's why you see a lot of, like, killers, like, in horror movies and stuff, they will have a pentagram. I showed him the blood, I explained to him, you know, their instructions, how to put it on his stuff, and he's going to come back later with his parents. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> this will be fun. Like, I think I nearly, if uh, the dad I talked to today, I had another interaction with a dad with two little girls. The one little girl saw our um, Mel costume from Descendants. Not only do we have two versions of the Mel costume, we have Mel gloves, Mel wigs, and Mel's necklace. This girl flipped out. She was like running. I showed her the costume because dad was on the phone. I'm like, well, I'll entertain them so we're not tearing stuff off ourselves. She was going around buying her Halloween costume. <laughs> They're not from here. They're from Wyoming. And I'm like, oh, oops. So um, it was very funny. And then he tried to, he got them, was able to talk them down to only one light up one. So it was a good day. It was fun. Um, tomorrow I'm wearing capris. I can actually wear, I'm so glad my work uniform is pretty much going to be this. Blue jean skirt, leggings, I'm sorry for the shot. Um, blue jean skirt, leggings, and my t-shirt. Tomorrow I am wearing capri leggings because it is supposed to be another 80 degrees and it is flipping hot in the store. It is insanely how hot it is. But um, but tomorrow after I get out of work, it might be nice. Um, I texted Aaron today, my friend, who wants to be my more than my friend. And we were texting today, and I just was talking about my job. And he works at Staples, which is actually right by the mall. And he gets out at 4 tomorrow, and I get out at 4 tomorrow. And since we both get out at 4, I thought it might be fun for us to, you know, meet up at the mall for like an hour or two. Just hang out and talk and see where we go from there so he might be meeting me at the mall tomorrow after i get out of work and he says as long as i can find you and i said well i'll probably be sitting in the food court and i'll be wearing a hot pink shirt <laughs> so of course you're going to be able to find me and we can go look at halloween and star wars stuff and talk and hang and maybe hold hands <laughs> it's like you know how mature i am i'm just i'm just starting to feel like lately could feel myself kind of sort of turning red when i talk about holding hands <laughs> see I'm almost 30 years old but to me it's like I still feel like because of my beliefs and stuff it's like to me holding hands makes me giggly and feel silly because I've never well I haven't gone on a date since I was in high school so it's like I get to hold hands and and hug <laughs> and it, I think it would be fun I'm, I'm I'm very naive and silly I know there's more to it than that but to me it's like I want to hold hands it's all I want to do I want to hold hands with a boy <laughs> I'm such a weirdo so I'm hopeful that we get to do that tomorrow that would be really fun and 
It'd be nice. I haven't seen him since April. I miss him, so. We're going to try that. He had today off, but I don't think he really wanted to drive into the city because he went to Cedar Point on Saturday, and he had to work yesterday. So he came home. I don't know how many hours of sleep he got, but he had to go into work ex early yesterday. And then he got home, and he got home at, I don't know, like 3, I think he said, and he went home and he went to bed till 8. So he probably wanted to spend the rest of today sleeping. So I like him. I can't wait. We usually talk about Star Wars. <laughs> I know I did a horrible job on my eyeshadow today. It is blue, and the blue I have is so flippin' dark. It's like smoky eye dark blue, like the blue for a smoky eye. And so I the only reason I'm wearing it is because the Lions are playing tonight. They have a Monday night game, and I hope ODB, Odell Beckham Jr., is not playing because I really want the Lions to win. But the Lions are playing tonight, and usually when the Lions play, I try to wear something blue that day. So I actually have... I don't know if you saw them, but I have, there they are, I have blue ponytail holders in. Most of the time, I don't wear blue. I easily, if I do pigtails, I will do, like, purple and pink. Um, if I'm doing Star Wars, I will do orange or blue and green. But today, it's blue for the Lions because their colors are Honolulu blue and silver, which I like their new uniforms because their old uniforms were the Honolulu blue, but they weren't silver. Like, the lettering was white. And their colors are Honolulu blue and silver. So I like the new uniforms because I like the fact that they have silver. So their uniforms they wore last week were awesome because they were actual, they were silver. Um, so I did that. And then because it's a Monday night game, I did, and I work, and when I work, I usually put on makeup. I have on my blue eyeshadow, but it's so dark. Even like a little bit is very dark that I actually put on silver eyeshadow. I don't know if you can tell. I did my best. I actually put silver eyeshadow on top of it to um, try and lighten it up. And I don't think I did a very good job. I don't do a lot with makeup. Like I've talked about my makeup routine. My makeup routine is, and I'll, I might try to show it one day. My makeup routine is I do eyeshadow when I do one. I do eyeshadow and then I have primer. I have mascara primer that my mom got me and I've started to use that. And it's actually really good because I started to use it and I've noticed that my eyelashes aren't falling out because I used to do mascara all the time. And then when my eyelashes used to get really itchy and get really like fall out and just drive me bonkers. And since I've started using the primer, I've noticed that it's a lot easier for me to one, put on the mascara and two, my eyes don't bother me as much because of it. So, so I put on primer and I only use a little so I put on a little bit of primer. Then I put on a little bit of mascara, and by a little I mean I dip the brush runs, I do it, and then I do lip balm. I do um, baby lips, so I either do, if I'm going to spend the day outside, I do um, baby lip sunscreen lip balm. If I'm just going to do a regular day like at work or something, I have on what I have today, which is my baby lips color change lip balm, which changes the shit tint the pink is to match according to your pH balance. And that's it. I don't do anything else. I don't wear foundation. I don't wear blush. I don't wear bronzer. I don't do BB cream. I just wear eyeshadow, mascara, primer, mascara, and lip balm. I don't even wear lipstick. If I have something special, I will actually do a glitter lip balm. But all my lip balms are sheer or the palest pink I can get. And then sometimes I paint my nails. But that's it. That's the extent of my beauty routine. I really flush over my hair a lot. But that's pretty much it. I don't do a lot with my um, makeup and stuff simply because I just don't feel like it. So I don't like go crazy with my makeup. I just I just do this. And I think it actually turns out really nice. I noticed when I went up north was the first went to Mackinac Island was the first time where I was exposed to girls who wore tons of makeup. Like the counter in our bathroom was covered with makeup and false eyelashes and and all this other stuff. And the weird, funny thing is, is I don't know if it's because I don't really do, like, a lot of makeup. And it's not like I wear makeup every day. Like, I will go to work. I will put makeup on. I have a special event. I will do makeup. Um, but day to day, if I'm just hanging out at home or running an errand with my mom or my brother, I will not wear makeup. Like, when we went down to Detroit Zoo, like, if we go to someplace like Detroit Zoo, I will not wear makeup. 
if we go to some place like Bronner's or Great Lakes Crossing, I will wear makeup. If we're going to the Walmart or doing something in town, I will not wear makeup. If I'm going to work, I will wear more makeup. If I'm going to a football game, I will wear makeup. If I'm going to a Star Wars event or a dance or something, I will wear makeup. But I don't wear makeup like every single day. And I always take it off as soon as I can. So I don't know. So when I was looking at these girls who all looked older than me, I couldn't decide if it was because I unknowingly take better care of my skin or something else. Because it's very sad when you're like, 29 years old and you're the oldest of these girls but all the girls look older than you so I don't know what it is but part of me wants to think it is because I've been such on top of it like I wear sunscreen if I'm going to be outside for long hours I forgot to when we went down to Detroit Zoo because we weren't expecting it to be that sunny um <laughs> But if I'm going to be outside for a really long time and it's going to be really bright and sunny, I put on sunscreen, I, I try, it's like, part of it is I have sensitive skin so I have to be uber careful about what I use. Also, I'm allergic to sulfa and I did not know this, but some makeup brands actually put sulfa or sulfa in great based ingredients into some of their products. I did not know that. That is why I use the Maybelline eyeshadow, the Maybelline, um, that is why when I get makeup products, I double and triple check. It's why right now I have hard candy eyeshadow because hard candy does not have sulfas in them or sulfate based products. Um, Maybelline, which is the eyeshadow I have, mascara I have does not, neither does my primer, which is L'Oreal and my lip balm does not either, but lip balm never does. So. I have to be so careful on what I get. So I think that's part of it. There also might be just genetics. Um, my friends actually hated me in high school because they were all having like breakouts of like pimples and stuff. I actually never got like that. I never had like acne, like just popping out like all over my face and stuff. I actually never had that. I would get like, I get like one pimple, one or two pimples. But I don't have like massive outbreaks. I've never had mass. I never really got acne. Like all my friends are like freaking out. I never got acne. My one friend hated me so much because her face was like totally broken out everywhere. And I'm standing next to her and I have like one zit. <laughs> it is, I've never gotten a big huge zit. It was like one zit. Well, this was kind of big, but that's because I picked at it. But I've never gotten like massive zits or anything like that. And I think... They would just be like so jealous. I actually had one woman look at me and say that she cannot, well, I was at the store like a few months ago and I was talking about skincare and how I have to be careful. And she was just looking at me and she's like, I can't believe that you have sensitive skin because I don't look like it. Well, if you look at my arms, you can tell, but my face, it's just like, I don't even really have wrinkles. I have these little lines, but I've always had them. And I have like one gray hair. I have like one gray hair. I got so excited when I saw that. I haven't had one yet. And I have like one and it's somewhere up here. You can't see it. So it feels very weird that I'm almost 30. But when I look at people around me who are younger, I feel and look a lot longer, younger. So I understand that that's a good thing. And I've been told that I will be grateful for that when I'm older. But I am 30 and I'm still getting asked if I'm enjoying college. Or if I'm getting ready for college. I'm not 21. <laughs> I am I am 29 and it's very weird that I will assume that in a few months I will be 30. But I still look and feel like a 21 year old and I act like a teenager. <laughs> Maybe it's because I love, I act so young that I still look so young. It's very weird. Anyway, it is almost five o'clock. I have to get changed out of my work clothes. I'm gonna change into grunge clothes. I'm going to get food because I haven't eaten since this morning. I had pizza and four mini donuts. And I am actually not hungry. And I actually got pop because I'm thirsty. But <laughs> I have, so I'm actually gonna have chicken and rice because I want a big meal. So I am hung not starving. And I'm going to work on my writing, hopefully. Um, the lions come on at eight, so I'll probably stop writing at eight so I can, 8.30, so I can watch the lions. And tomorrow, and I have to be in bed by 11.30, so I don't think I'm gonna see all the games. And tomorrow I get to do this all over again. But tomorrow I might have a date after work. 
<laughs> I hope so. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I will post this tomorrow when I get home. Hopefully it will be before midnight. <laughs> but I love you guys a lot. Thank you. This is Mission Girl sending you lots of love, hugs, and prayers, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.